I've been a believer for all of my life But there have been constant conflicts raging in my mind The people are hurting and crying and searching and waiting for a reason to go on And all you can say is go pray and be patient It won't be this way for too long Sitting and waiting to me that seems crazy Making them lazy in your congregation Leading to a savior, an emancipator Whose very behavior proves you right so, When I was growing up, my father was my pastor And we, I grew up in the country So my father was a Baptist pastor And so for the first years of my life He was my example of what the Christ was supposed to be Like he was taking care of his family Everybody in his community respected him. Like that's what I was used to. The country pastor dynamic is different from the city pastor dynamic. When I moved to Kingston, I started to go to a different church. He was no longer my pastor. And so I started to realize that this pastor thing is a hype thing too. So oh, it's a social climbing thing. And then when I started to work in corporate Jamaica, I started to see this pastor in meetings that were, that had nothing to do with the church, but were about culture. And I watched him, you know, poise. And, and I was like, yo, this, this, you know, I mean, learning and seeing how it is people use positions of power, you know. Not everyone is a servant. Some people expect to be served when they're in positions of power. And I thought that was, I was insulted by that, especially because I grew up seeing my father have so little and yet give so much of himself. So when I started to see how the city pastors were kind of moving through society and the way they, you know, driving fancy cars and... It just was disgusting to me. That's pretty much how I felt about it. And, um, and I remember growing up and asking of these city pastors, like when I had these questions about Africa and about the, the inconsistencies between what I was reading in the word and what I was reading in ancient African history, he couldn't give me answers. And he actually responded very negatively when I would ask some of these questions, almost like, why am I asking these questions? I remembered getting pamphlets in church with African symbols on them and being told these are demonic symbols. I mean, it all started to fall apart. And so this is no, and I've always had a very close relationship with my father. So every time I was, I was challenged in this way, I would go home and I would talk to him about it, you know? And he was a revolutionary kind of man. He wasn't like your atypical pastor. So he was very Afrocentric. He's the result, he, I am a result of his efforts. So he was reading, you know, reading Franz Fanon and Wretched of the Earth and some serious literature when he was growing up. So you, 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 you know what I mean? I grew up in that environment. Exactly. So you get that exposure. Exactly. So I wouldn't say mine was the atypical church experience because my father and my mother were revolutionary Afrocentric people. So it's only natural that I would, you know, manifest this type of vibration in this time, you know? Thank you so much for watching. I never knew TV. Please subscribe. Comment, like, share.